there, this is Rebecca R. Jones with a Bible art journaling challenge series. We're in lesson one of Deeper Still and thanks so much for joining me. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to trace with colored pencil. This may seem really basic and yet I get lots of questions about tracing and I just want to show you how to do this without needing to have a pencil that you need to erase or pens or anything like that. If you just want straight colored pencil on your work, how to do that and it's as simple as this. I have created something that is dark enough for you to go straight through. And so we're going to do this project. I have this free download for you so you can get the link if you're on YouTube or anywhere else you can get the link just below the video and head to my blog and get that free download. And then just pick whatever you want. This is your project and we're just spending some time in the word really going in depth about the scripture and this devotional and that's what really matters is not about the artwork but the artwork sure makes all of it a lot of fun so what we're going to do is just go over picking whatever color is going to be our background color we pick the lightest color of colored pencil that we can and we just trace around these things to just kind of establish some color and it, I know it sounds so silly doesn't it that I'm even talking about how to trace with colored pencil because it's really obvious you just put something behind your paper and start tracing but I would like to point out that it's important if you're choosing a different image that you use something with some really heavy lines and if it doesn't have heavy lines that you get a pen and actually go over your thing that you're sliding behind to trace over go over it with a thick pen and kind of exaggerate the darkness of those lines so that when you are tracing over it with your colored pencil like this you can actually see it really well because bible pages are so thin you can literally just see right through them and that can be a real benefit in circumstances like this so i am literally just going in with a really light color and then i'm going in with kind of a medium color and then i'm going in with a darker color and I just start working out my color. So the idea behind what I created here goes back actually some months ago to when I was teaching the previous series of the Bible Art Journal Challenge, Heaven is Calling, and we were in lesson nine. Uh, if you don't have that, then that's okay. You can go check that out and you don't have to have done that to do this. The way this works is that you can just enjoy my tutorial and devotional if you want, but we have a whole community online that love to connect and all you have to do is just go get creating in the word using the scripture and this devotional together as your inspiration to just spend some time. I don't even mind if you do different artwork, but just use this devotional and scripture that we're focused in on as your inspiration to spend time in the word and then come and share with the community and let's grow together in God. So in this series, we're talking about adventuring into the depths of God. And it is a beautiful thing. I want to talk about the beautiful depths of God, not the scary stuff that we hear about people talking about. It, God is so beautiful and he is so wonderful and he loves us so, so much. And it can all fit, feel a bit mysterious sometimes. And today, I want to talk about the merciful forgiveness of God that cleanses us. And it is just, it's so beautiful how he works in our lives. Now, in the previous series, in Heaven is Calling, when I was in lesson nine, I was actually talking about, and I'm just referencing here a little bit off camera, that I'm picking a color across the color wheel as my inspiration, because that's a complementary color that will go really well when I'm choosing something. So if you are using a different color scheme, then perhaps just look at a color wheel look one up online or get that one and then just pick something that's across from the color wheel and you're sure to have a lot more success with it all feeling like it looks nice on the page and you can use this as um, 
inspiration of course but know that any of the supplies that I'm using the colored pencils that I prefer the pencil sharpener that I use all of the you know the color wheel all that kind of stuff I always link all the supplies below my video and over on my blog you can actually see pictures of everything so do check that out if you find that you want to know what the resources are but really this is just so fascinating to me that I felt drawn as we're going deeper still in this series I felt drawn back to another story that's actually I'm not going to go back over the same section of scripture because I actually so far I'm sure I could do this for years to come because the Bible is so big I have never actually shared a challenge that has been in a in the same page of the Bible as another one. And this is starting out in my third year of this. So I think we're doing pretty good and I'm gonna keep doing that for you so that if you follow along with me, you can always be sure that you have that page. But if you've done something personal, you can always do a tip in or overlay or any of those types of things and you could check out what a tip in is on my blog, just search it. So what, we did in heaven is calling lesson nine is we talked about king david and what happened when he actually took bathsheba as his own and he actually had her husband uriah killed and he was actually confronted by the prophet nathan and it was a pretty difficult situation nathan came to the king and said this parable about a story of someone and said you know how how should we handle this situation and the king said you know surely this person deserves to die and the king said actually this is you you've done these things and he was able to see the sin in his life and he repented and we talked about that in that section of scripture over in um one of the samuels and it was so good and I would recommend that you check it out. It really gives some context to all of this, and I'm all about context. It really helps when you're trying to understand this. And this now is actually in Psalm 51, chapter 51. This is where we actually find King David. He is actually repenting of the sin that he realizes this in his life when he has it exposed and he's been confronted by Nathan. And it doesn't always say those sorts of things, but it does in some Bibles, you can actually see the notes that tells you that that's what this is. And so we can actually get a view into what it actually looked like for David to do this. And so why am I talking about this when we're talking about the depths of God? because we know that God actually forgave David. And it's amazing that if we knew of somebody who had someone killed in today's society, you know, you hear about that, you actually don't, dare I say, have a, a ton of grace for that situation. It's easier when we look back at King David years, you know, thousands of years ago to say, wow, you know, he did do that he did have somebody killed, but he also did have an incredible relationship with God and, 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 and there was all these wonderful things that he did. And so we have forgiveness for him because we look back and I would hope that we can extend that same sort of understanding and forgiveness to people who are truly repentant in front of us. But if we look at that situation, I think we can understand a bit what it was like for God to extend his merciful grateful or sorry his merciful forgiveness towards David. And when we look at this chapter here and you know this i do actually have some tutorials that show you how to trace but i just wanted to like get in to the detail there and show you that you can actually just trace right over the color that is showing through and of course you can get the free download and do all of that but it, feel free to use your own designs and make the lines show up darker and create something what i've done here is i've actually gone into a section in chapter 51 and i'm going to go over a whole section 
over on a blog post so you can see all of the sections of scripture that I'm highlighting for this challenge. And so I really encourage you to hop over there. And also, if you like colored pencil and you like this challenge, will you give this video a thumbs up and you know comment on it? Because it actually helps YouTube know that this is a video worth sharing. So if you think it's worth sharing, then hit that like button and then it'll help the cause of spreading what God's doing through this. So anyway, in chapter 51 of Psalm, we see King David talking to God and he says, have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions, which means sin, Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Behold, you delight, later in verse 6, it says, Behold, you delight in truth, in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Ten Verse 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Now, if you've been in the church a long time, you may actually recognize that section of scripture from a, a very popular worship song that was written some years ago, and uh, which I grew up with. It's a, a beautiful worship song. And I think what's interesting here is that from hindsight, we can actually look back and see that when David cried out to God, in Psalm 51, he actually did get that merciful forgiveness that he asked for. He said, have mercy on me. God had mercy on him. He said, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Uphold and uphold me with a willing spirit. He says all these beautiful things it, as he pours out his heart to God in repentance. And God did create a clean heart in him. God did forgive him. He had mercy on him. And so I took some raindrops to, you know, some water just coming down and pouring over. And I put a little bit of a heart shape in those just for the fun of it because I was, you know, creator's prerogative, I guess. And I wanted to just spend a little bit of time doing a little bit of hand lettering and to share that with you. I know a lot of you like to have hand lettering and there's just so much that you can do with this. This little pencil sharpener is a two part pencil sharpener. So one of them removes the wood and the other one sharpens the lead. And it's really great for these Prismacolor pencils, which are quite delicate, but they give this really nice buttery, beautiful, rich color on the paper, which is quite nice. And I've got those two kinds of colored pencils, the ones that have kind of pointed sides on them instead of a round barrel. Those are a harder core and then the round ones are a soft core. And so I use that as hard cores to get nice sharp edges around the outside. And then I use the rounded ones to fill in the color on the inside. And that's just the difference between the Prismacolor Premier, which is softcore, and the Verithin, which are the hardcore. And they're both from the same company, so the colors all mix together well. But that's how I do it. But honestly, just use what you have. You may even have some colored pencils hanging around from your, your kid's school box. It doesn't matter what you use. What matters is that you get in the word and get transformed by it whatever that looks like for you, I really want to encourage you to join me. And I offer this free because people can use my links in buy supplies if they're interested. And that gives me a chance to do this for free. But honestly, I don't want you to stop and not be involved if you don't have supplies. What I do want you to do is get in the word and be transformed by it. That's what really matters to me. And so get in there, spend some time with God. This right there, that's a clear blending, colorless blender is what it is. And it is colorless. It just goes in and blends everything and makes it all nice and smooth. So really, this is a limited amount of supplies. It's just some colored pencils and a printout free download. And I've just gotten in there and done it. I just want you to feel that you can join with what you have and 
I really want to encourage you to come and join the community and be a part of this whole series as we spend time really getting into the depths of these things. And you know, what is so beautiful about all this is that when we cry out to God, whatever state we find ourselves in, we know the outcome of how God responded to David. We know the outcome of how Jesus died on the cross for us. We know that we are forgiven. And all we have to do is look at the Bible to know that's true. And this is yet an example. It's such a mystery why God would pour out his love upon us when we don't really deserve it. But what I do know is that he is just in love with us and he is always looking for a reason to pour himself out on us. So if you feel that you need forgiveness, let today be the day that you get forgiveness. Just pour yourself out to him. As you can see, I'm pulling away from the paper in order to avoid tearing my Bible. And that is it. That is super simple. Colored pencil will take you some time. Just sit and relax. Enjoy the presence of God. Enjoy the word of God. Let it transform your life. And be refreshed as you spend time and then come and join me in the community. Spend some time with other people. Share what you're doing. Enjoy what other people are doing. Everybody's got their own version of how they connect with this challenge. And come and tell us about what you are going to do this year as we connect with the word and get transformed by it. As we adventure with each other into the depths of God. Thanks so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you really soon.